Hey guys, what's up? This video was recommended by a subscriber. And you know what? That's what's great about everybody getting together and working as one. Because we can do so much more. I had no idea about this. But a subscriber by the name of Terry, and I will pin his comment so he gets the credit for it, showed me this article. And you know what? Sometimes the truth tends to rear up and show its ugly little face. And what used to be a derogatory comment is now considered a derogatory fact. Now, and I checked it and saw the photograph, and uh, it just was so with disgust. A story Eyewitness News was first to break today. The Division of Corrections and Rehabilitation facing backlash tonight. The photo that's being called disturbing, hurtful, and completely inappropriate. And that's where we begin tonight at 6. The Cabinet Secretary for the Department of Military Affairs and Public Safety condemning this picture and the future corrections officers who posed for it. It shows 37 members of a basic training class of the Division of Corrections and Rehabilitation doing a Nazi salute under a title that says Hail Bird, who is the name of the class instructor. And we do want to note DMAPS blurred the faces in this photo before they released it to us. Reaction was swift, both from the Justice Administration and a prominent member of Charleston's Jewish community. But many questions remain about how such a picture could be taken in this day and age without someone speaking up and saying no. Lead I team reporter Kenny Bass here now with more. Kenny? It is uh, an interesting question, to say the least. This is certainly a situation where at some point in this chain of events, someone could have stepped forward and said, wait a minute, what are we doing taking this picture where future correctional officers are giving a Nazi salute? But that did not happen. And now more than three dozen people are looking at a possible swift termination with an ongoing investigation determining the fate of many more. It's shocking when you see it. The Heil Hitler salute in a picture titled Hail Bird, the name of the instructor of the training course, performed by a graduating class of 37 West Virginia correctional officers. Secretary of Military Affairs and Public Safety Jeff Sandy says he was made aware of this picture on the day before Thanksgiving. The Commissioner of Corrections, Betsy Jividen, called me and said, check your email. And I checked it and saw the photograph, and uh, it just was so with disgust. Sandy says the photo was taken to celebrate the cadets graduating from their five-week training course in Glenville. To make matters worse, the picture was printed, copied, and placed in the graduation packets of each correctional officer. Just terrible. Uh, it was a terrible, disrespectful, it was a very poor decision. Sandy says he's already met with faith and community leaders about the photo, asking for their input and hoping to use their expertise to adjust the division's correctional officer training. Charleston Rabbi Victor Urecki was in that meeting. What was your reaction when you saw the picture? It was deeply disturbing. It was shocking, um, hurtful. Um, my, I, at first I was speechless. Uh, upon reflection and, and listening to the people that were briefing us, I recognized it can't possibly be what West Virginians are all about. And I think that's what's very hurtful because that's not the experience of, uh, as a member of the Jewish people, what West Virginians are all about. What would you tell people who would say, Rabbi, we understand it's serious. It is, but it's just a joke. They were just joking. What would you tell those people? I don't know the hearts and minds of everyone, obviously. Um, if it was done out of ignorance and stupidity, perhaps it is a chance for a teachable moment. If it's hateful and we're seeing the rise of anti-Semitism, racism, hatred of others, then it's a disturbing trend that we need to... Um, we need to address her in a hurry because this country cannot afford to have things like that happen. Sandy says he's hopeful to have the investigation into the photo finished before Christmas so he can issue a report to the governor who has already ordered the termination of all those that are found to be involved with the photograph. So we want to analyze the information and f complete the report and make that recommendation uh, appropriately. 
In his statement, Governor Justice added that the behavior depicted in the photograph will not be tolerated on his watch within any agency of state government. Guys, that's all I got for now, but I will be keeping you all updated on this story itself. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a thumbs up. I'm dying to hear your guys' comments in the comment section below. And the only way to expose this corruption is to share this video. Other than that, guys, we'll see you all in the next video.